Hello everyone, my name is Nathan and today it's time for another episode of Oxygen Not Included. In today's episode we can finally get to our new power system. Everything should be in place and if we do things right it's also gonna work. One thing I had to change from the previous episode is I moved the battery downstairs because obviously this one is also gonna need some cooling. As a reminder we're using the coolant we get from our slush geysers. So still no aqua tuner in this world which is kind of crazy. Today is also gonna be a historic episode because we're gonna make the first permanent ultimate module. And whenever I say that you can criticize the heck out of it because that module should be ultimate in one way or the other. But I think you're gonna like this first module. However, we are gonna require the power so let's get finally to it. We need to pick this up first. I don't want any debris here on the floor when I put my coolant here which is gonna be brine. Though I just see we could also use oil. This would be a little bit more secure. If we use brine we just run the risk of filling this entire room up with steam and then we're screwed. And I mean royally screwed. However, we could theoretically mop up this bit of oil. It's 18.4 kilograms, which should be enough to fill up the space here at the bottom. Uh, so I think I'm gonna try that. Let's get some crude oil in the joint. By the way, the crude oil was just hanging around in the world. I ended up collecting it here at the bottom. Another thing I might want to do is just put a roof on top of this. I think that's gonna be more secure. Oh, there comes the oil. Can we cover everything? Come on, spread out. No pending deliveries. Okay, we'll have to do with brine. I'm also gonna install a mechanized airlock here that I'm gonna control with a switch. This is gonna allow me to control whether or not duplicants may enter this room and I can have it completely sealed off from the outside should any accidents occur. Hast du a frog? Was? Das. Das da? Ja. Das ist Vulkan. Ui. Und dann haben wir hier einen Ich muss jetzt nehmen, wie ein Schlitten Ein Schlitten, der Vulkan runterrutscht? Ja. Ich weiß nicht, entweder hat man Spass oder man bereut es. Was ist bereut? Wenn man sich wünscht, man hätte es nicht gemacht. Was ist das? Das Schwarze? Schwarze, das ist Neutronium. Was ist Neutronium? Das ist... Stein, wo man nicht kann kaputt machen kann, und er nervt. Das ist ein Vulkan. Man geht da, man geht, man geht zu Lava. In 9,6 Zyklen. Ist ja viel. Jetzt tue ich hier ein bisschen Wasser drin, damit all die Maschinen können abkühlen können. Das ist schon besser. Das ist genau das, was wir brauchen. Ah, mehr brauchen wir nicht. Aber wenn es hier drauf liegt, dann wird es immer heißer und dann verschmelzen. Weil alles irgendwann ist verschmilzt, je heißer das es wird. Sogar hier. Darum musst du Sonne cremen. Wenn ich die Sonne cremen und nicht auf die Das lang nicht, die Sonne cremen zu. Aber schau jetzt hier. Siehst, das wird jetzt hier ganz schnell heißer. Darum muss ich es mit einer hohen Priorität auflöpfen. Zack. Und wenn ich schnell genug bin, dann ist es nicht so schlimm. Wunderbar. Wir sind parat. Kimmel is finishing up the room and now it is closed off. I also closed the door. Nobody can enter here. And we're finally gonna make the power switch. Now I would like to be as careful as possible. We do not need to enter for quite a while here, so I'm not gonna risk the brine heating up. Once we actually need to get back into here, we need to be very quick about what we're doing. Even though this is gonna support powering our base for the next 1000 or so cycles, Eventually we will have gone through the entirety of the magma heat and so this is still a temporary setup technically. Depends a little bit on your definition of temporary. The wallpaper mod unfortunately still doesn't work and I'm not gonna be bothered doing this with drywall. Now we slowly approach the stage of the game where one episode takes much longer for me to create. So I figured sometimes I might want to skip a day in order to give me more time to record. However, if you put in the effort, I'm also going to put in the effort. And so maybe we can help each other out. Got my water pipe here. I'm now going to hook this up and introduce the water. It's gonna immediately be converted to steam as soon as it touches this tile. This series has currently got about 6,000 active viewers and I was thinking if we reach 1,000 likes, Within 24 hours, I'm gonna release the episode the next day. This way you can help me out and at the same time get something for it. Of course, it would be nice if you always liked the video if you liked it, but this time you get something for your like and that will be a promise whenever I mention it. So with 1000 likes, you're gonna get the next episode tomorrow. 
anyways, we now got our first steam. That means we need to make sure we got all the thermo sensors up to par. If we go above 190 degrees, we want to send a green signal so the mechanized door opens and no heat transfer can occur. At the moment, I did not set it to that because if you are in a vacuum, this is going to close the door. And of course, we didn't want that. So what we technically have to do is just wait for the steam to reach everything. There we go. We also already got our first steam turbine working. It does start to work above 125 degrees and goes all the way up to 200 degrees. It works above 200 degrees, but you're not going to get more power out of it and will have to kill more heat for it. But now that we have a little bit of steam in here, we can change it to the true settings and we want to copy that and copy it over for all the thermo sensors. And there we go. The doors are going to be closed as long as we haven't reached the temperatures. Now, of course, we want a little bit more water in here. At least 20 kilograms of steam per tile is my suggestion to get started. Later on, once we can afford it, we will also add a couple of temp shift plates into this room. But now you can already see some of the steam turbines are working at full efficiency and we have the 190 degrees, so almost 200 degrees. We just need to wait for a tiny bit more steam so it gets more stable. We are now at 7 kilograms of steam per tile, not too shabby. Let me see. Ah, oh, jeez, I totally forgot to hook up the battery. Okay, now it is actually gonna do... Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now the steam turbines have shut off. And what we want is the steam turbines to turn on whenever we are lacking the power. Even just slightly. So I set it to 95 like every other power production. But it is already gonna start at 90%. So it's the first contraption that is turning on whenever we are using the battery power. I'm just gonna wait a little longer until this is filled up with steam. You technically cannot have enough water in here. And if you have more water, it's just taking longer. But there you go. You can see the steam turbines are turning on. And it's now the only system apart from the solar panels that's being utilized. Maybe we should actually go down a little bit. Let's say the steam turbines activate at 80% and then my other systems here are gonna activate at 60%. That's good. This one here also 60%. The coal generators are gonna activate at 20%, so barely. And then the solar panels are obviously just active during the daytime. Let's just observe it for a little bit, see how the batteries are going down. But technically, if we have enough solar power, then it shouldn't go too quickly. But there we go. Steam turbines are activating again for a brief moment, taking out some of the heat. Great. Okay, I feel like we have enough steam in here. We still have a little bit of water. That's good. That means I'm also gonna cut this pipe. And now just to prove a point, we're gonna make our way in here and disassemble this. Because as you can see, we still have a vacuum. As long as the steam turbines aren't too close, or technically the doors, we're good to enter this room. And even if the steam comes all the way here, it's gonna take a long time to heat up the brine enough. This is really a huge weight off my chest. This was stressful to build this room. I did have to reload once, I'm not gonna lie. But now we have basically free power we don't really have to care about for a very long time, and it is expandable by quite a bit. Also, the cooling, I believe, is gonna be more than adequate. As a matter of fact, let's check the temperature here. Yeah, the polluted water gained almost 20 degrees. This is a little bit much. I think I'm gonna make my duplicates go back in here and then we are gonna exchange two of the radiant pipes with insulated pipes. So there's only gonna be one radiant pipe per steam turbine. And now the steam reached the brine. Look at that. 46 degrees. It's just not gonna go up. But... Let's go ahead, set up a tile there. As a matter of fact, we're gonna make sure the water gets deleted in case that is a problem. Okay, let's forget about that and take care of the other project for today's episode. And that is gonna be a real treat, let me tell you. First things first, we have to make our way over here and kind of plan this out. Up to this point is gonna be occupied by just sandstone tiles. Then I would like to have an insulated layer. And then there's going to be my power spine. The power spine is going to require at least four tiles until we can start the module. So this is going to be the beginning of our module. And therefore, let's maybe start by digging all the way over there. Okay, I already went ahead and got started with the excavation project on the top right. I want to get things even with this last bit of neutronium. And as promised, this is going to be my power spine shaft. 
I have a mechanized airlock here on the top in case I ever want to have some hydrogen in here in order to cool down the transformers. I'm not yet sure how I'm gonna do that, but it's probably gonna go like this. And then finally, right here, we're gonna get started with the ultimate science research module. Everything in terms of science should be possible in here. It should be easily accessible and the dupes should have actually fun being here. In order to make this ultimate, we're gonna get into the gold tiles right away. And what I would like to do is have gold tiles all the way around, surrounding the science modules and everywhere the dupes are gonna be. And I'm not yet sure just how much we're gonna need, but it's gonna be plenty. And then on the top here, I'm gonna make a little exception for an Atmo suit. Let's say our floor is right here. Now we have the space for an Atmo suit checkpoint. I want it to face into this direction and then two Atmo suit docks. What did I build this out of? Let's go all the way gold. Yes, we're gonna be extremely fancy and expensive. Gold, gold, gold. I'm gonna leave four spaces free for the next floor. We will have to dig here. This is gonna be where we have our first set of research machines. The research station, we're gonna get started with that. Uh, hold the phone, I always forget to choose the material. We want gold amalgam, yes. Supercomputer out of gold amalgam, yes. And I would like this to have a little bit of space in between. So supercomputer is gonna go here. And then finally we have the virtual planetarium that we haven't used yet, but this is gonna go here. And then in between these modules, I'm gonna have a granite storage bin. Let's set that up there and well, <laughs> right there. Okay, and the rest we have to dig up, finish the flooring. And now we basically have the dimensions of our science facility. For the next floor, we're gonna need five spaces before we actually set up the floor. We want to go with the same dimensions. All of this can be excavated. Okay, what do we want in here? Of course, the material study terminal. Also, gold, thank you very much. That's gonna go right there. And then technically, what I would like to see is a couple of farm tasks. And I might need a bit more space. Indeed, I do need more space. So we're gonna get rid of that tile as well, but we're gonna make a V-shape. That was one of your suggestions in the comment section. All of these farm tiles are gonna have a Wii sword on them. I'm also tempted to remove these two tiles. I'm gonna tell you why in just a second. And then I would like to see a normal tile. Let's maybe go with obsidian. So it is black and I also would like to see a black chest here. Obsidian. What else? Yeah, I think this is gonna be the bottom of our contraption. The insulated layer I'm building out of mafic rock. And that's that. Let's make sure we can still kind of reach everything. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna need a ladder down here anyways in order to reach the bottom. No, hold on. We might be able to do it here from the right side. But what I also already know is we're gonna need transit tube access and that is gonna happen right here. So we basically also want to get rid of one of these solar panels for now, so we have the space. Actually, solar panels can hang out in the air. We do not necessarily need all of that, but what we do need is to prevent all the oxygen from going out. Yeah, I think I'm gonna close this off and we're gonna approach it from the top now. Okay, things are taking shape. I have to babysit them a little bit. Planning out this much usually doesn't end in good results, but we're gonna keep our heads up and hope for the best. Another thing we can also already set up is the first permanent power transformer. And hold the phone, I don't want this to be on sandstone. This needs to be a special brand of tile. Let's maybe go with mesh tile, so in case any liquid accumulates, it's just gonna drop down. And this one here doesn't need to be gold, no duplicate is ever gonna be in here for a long time. We're gonna go with a large power transformer for this one, out of iron, should be enough. And then I wonder, should we already go with the heavy watt conductive wire? In the end, we're gonna need that anyways, in order to get above the 20 kilowatts. Ah, no, we should upgrade it. It's gonna take a while until we reach the 20 kilowatts, so we are gonna go with that. And this will then go all the way down our power spine. Mm, you know what? I wanna build this with the final cable. Heavy watt conductive wire. I'm presuming we're gonna find an iron volcano in the future, so I'm gonna take iron as my go-to material for this power spine. Also, we can already set up the conductive wire here as well. We're gonna move over through the flooring and hook everything up. Go down here, hook you up, and you. Go down here, hook you up, and there's gonna be a rappel generator as well. Actually, there's no reason to not already build it, 
We could build it out of ceramic. I wonder what the overheat temperature is. Well, it doesn't actually matter what the overheat temperature is. Also, this is a little bit too low. I'm gonna choose obsidian for this as well because we did it for the other things and there we go. This is the final place. We also need something else, namely a rat bolt reflector because obviously we're gonna collect the rat bolts here. Then we want to shoot them over and down to the machine. Since we already have a storage bin in the way here, I'm gonna set it up like so. Rat bolt is gonna go over here and then it's gonna be shot down. This is also not gonna harm my duplicant. And I really also don't want my dupes to take care of these farms. We should make sure an auto sweeper does it. Auto sweeper here. I'm just gonna build out of iron. That's gonna be good enough. But this is why we needed the room 5 in height. So now auto sweeper can take phosphorite from the storage bin here and then just distribute them to the farm task. Also, we will be able to disable the auto sweeper so the farms don't get taken care of in case we don't need to produce any rat bolts. As a matter of fact, I don't want my duplicants to ever be able to take care of the farm, so I'm gonna have my storage bin here, a little bit higher up. And then we're gonna make sure the room is actually closed off with a bunch of airflow tiles. I would like the air to flow through here, so we can collect the carbon dioxide here at the bottom. Actually, we don't really need this airflow tile. We could have an airflow tile here just for symmetry's sake. Uh, actually, that doesn't look any good. Let's maybe just fill this up with obsidian. Anyways, we need to unlock the mini gas pump. Uh, pump, give me something good. Uh, right there. Yeah, we need to unlock that. But my mini gas pump is gonna go here and it's gonna be connected to a gas element sensor. We put that right here in order to detect carbon dioxide on this level. And if that is the case, it is gonna activate the mini gas pump that is gonna be here, pumping out the carbon dioxide directly into the rocket, for instance. But yeah, let's maybe unpause a little bit and allow the duplicants to build all of this shebang. Okay, here we go with a little status update. I let them build for a couple of cycles and I decided to just go ahead and use Mafic Rock Drywall, so the game's version of the background tiles in order to fill up the power spine. Then I chose obsidian for the background here at the bottom. This is probably also gonna be obsidian and right here I used sedimentary rock which is gonna result in a green color. The top floor here we're also gonna drywall up with mafic rock since we have plenty of it. On the left side here I already started adding another module. Let me close up this room. This is gonna be filled with a tiny bit of oxygen. I'm actually fine with that. But what I would like to see here is a rocket platform right there with a obsidian ladder to the right and left. They're also gonna connect on the top. In order to do research, we don't actually need a crazy rocket. There you can actually see the sedimentary rock. It's kind of green. That's how obsidian should look like. So let's go ahead and also do this one here with obsidian. So this might just get rid of my materials quite immediately. If the wallpaper mod starts to work again, I might just go ahead and exchange everything. But man, this is the first ultimate module. I cannot leave this without a background. I also already started to set up the piping. We're gonna need some gas vent to insert the oxygen. And this is just gonna come from here and we're gonna follow the transit tube all the way to where we have our oxygen, which is actually going to be right here. Wonderful. But before anything happens, I want to cut this off, make sure we got everything ready first. For instance, I would like to deliver two suits here, which also means we need to craft two suits. Oh, I didn't even notice the transit tube access point is working. That is going to make things a lot easier. Yes, you guys, the glorious building duo, Harold and Camille. Most of the module is in place. I'm still finishing up the cleaning. Now, they started a little bit too early with the Wii Swords, but I think we're done now. I think what I might want to do is set up a plastic tile here because that blocks radiation a little bit better than other tiles. Even better would be a metal lead tile, but we do not have access to lead just yet. Also, I might want to switch the airflow tile with the sensor. Anyways, what we need to make sure is that this guy is actually hooked up. So I need to build this cable real quick. I want to collect 100 rat bolts as well, shoot to the right and this guy shoots to the bottom. I also set up a signal switch here. We could theoretically just extend the cabling. I think I'm gonna do that all the way to the rat bolt generator so we can disable both at the same time. One plastic tile right there and finally a storage bin. 
I noticed the storage bins don't actually change colors depending on the material. Later down the line, I'm gonna exchange this storage bin probably with a weight shift plate and a conveyor chute. Or something else similarly, I don't want my duplicates to always have to fill up the storage bin. We are collecting 128 rats a cycle, at the moment minus one Wii's ward. And I'm already researching something that is going to be dear to me, namely the advanced sanitation that is going to give us a decontamination shower. And I want to place that right on top of here. After all, my duplicant is going to be exposed to some radiation and we want to shower that off. Kind of fits the space lab theme. Inside the storage bin we want phosphorite. We might want to also introduce a way to renew phosphorite. I'm gonna put it to priority 9 initially, so they fill it up really quickly and then we're gonna put it back to 5. But all I want to see is rat bolts inside my machine so we can continue the research. There is the final number, 158 rats a cycle for this contraption. Not too bad, thank you for that tip. And we should be seeing the first bolt. Okay, nice, we collected 99.2, so not much went to waste. And Devon is now doing the research, being exposed to a little bit of radiation. Also, of course, I'm hoping the Wii Swords are gonna be enough in order to keep everything cool. Maybe it's now time to enable the Atmosu checkpoint. Yeah, let's do it. The module should be stable, so the oxygen is coming in. And if we just fill this up with oxygen, we should be fine. Also, this storage bin here is intended for... Uh, let me see. Agriculture? No cultivatable soil we want to collect a little bit of dirt and then the storage bin on the left side here is for my data banks wherever they are industrial ingredients data banks all right that's going to be for the virtual planetarium also holy cow we should not forget about the lights duplicate sensor here and i guess there another sensor here ceiling light here and there and there Automation wire for all of them. Ah, this is gonna be an amazing module. Now, wait a second. If duplicants come here, they usually come with a suit. So we should not already have a suit in here. Let's undock these guys and then make sure we enable the building. And that means when a duplicant comes, they're gonna have to place their Atmo suit there first. By the way, it is looking really good with the Rappel generator. It's not heating up. But we're only slowly getting the oxygen because everything has to fill up first. But, you know, once it is stable, we're gonna catch up. The main point is we are now completing more researches, which is great. Now I want to get back to the previous one we did. And that was valve miniaturization. No, for the decontamination shower, we need some lead. Ah, okay, that's a pity. Well, we're gonna add that in the future. To wrap up the episode, let's do the pump. Something else we're gonna wanna unlock in just a second is advanced gas flow. I'm gonna do that off camera and then we're gonna meet ourselves back in order to finish the module with the rocket and the gas filter. There it is, the mini gas pump. This is gonna be so useful. Where is the automation port? Right down here, so that is convenient. And it is also already hooked up to power. So all we need is a gas pipe to go out like so and then over we're gonna go ahead and set this up right away. Carbon dioxide, should we go with gold? Hmm, <laughs> yes. I'm also gonna add another module, which is gonna be a battery module, which we... Ah, done it, we haven't discovered that yet. Need to re-enable the system, start collecting more rat bolts again, and... <gasps> no, we cannot reach this guy. Oh, gosh, are you kidding me? Oh guys, I actually have a better idea. If we remove this Wii's wart, then we can replace it with an automatic storage bin in the future. So we bring in the materials automatically and then we will be able to close this off. Maybe even with lead. So nobody's gonna suffer. Yeah, this way I'm not gonna feel so bad about losing this Wii's wart. Anyways, if we detect some carbon dioxide here, then we want to enable the gas element sensor. This is then going to activate the pump and we should hopefully only pump out carbon dioxide. Anyways, maybe another thing we can build already is a bunker door. I would like to see this here. Oh, this is going to cost us 500 steel. I am not going to do that right now in this case. But that is another addition I would like to do just for the coolness of it. Right now we need the steel for our first aqua tuner. Ah, thank you. Devon, finally, let's freaking do this. Battery, battery, battery module. 
We're gonna build this out of gold. And I think we have the space for yet another one. And then maybe even a solar panel module. For that, of course, we need a little bit of glass. So let's get crafting. And then last but not least, we need a solo spacefarer module. Uh, did I build this? No, not out of gold. What am I thinking? If we also want a solar panel module, we might want to raise the ladders. I think we're done here. Wonderful. Give me a solar panel module as well. And with that out of the way, we have the rocket in the joint. We're now still missing a decontamination shower and potentially a bunker door. But I have to say I'm pretty happy with this ultimate science research module. Also, of course, subject to change is the storage bin that we want to place with something more automatic. But yeah, guys, with that out of the way, let's wrap it up for today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Have a great time and see you soon. Bye bye.